Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So now we have uh, the Juniper uh, router uh, resetted to the default configuration. Now, what I have done, I have taken a cable on this port, which is the fastnet 0 over 0 over 1. So I put the cable here and I connect it to my computer. All right. So we have seen on the, the configuration when we reset it that this router has a DHCP server enabled. The HTTP server means it provides IP addresses. All right. Why? Because this router has an IP of 192.168.1.1. So for this PC to be able to connect to JWeb, then uh, it has to go to the browser and has to put the IP of this router. But then it should have also an IP from the same range. So we have to see now this PC if it has received an IP from the same range of 192.168.1. something. So let's open here the computer command prompt and if I say IP config, so my adapter is this one and you can see that it has received an IP of 192.168.1.2 with a gateway 192.168.1.1. So if I try now to ping it, from my computer, I try to ping to 1.1, which is the router. Here we go. We have reachability. It's very important, but doesn't mean that we have internet. So if we try now to ping Google DNS, for example, which is 8.8.8.8, .8 we don't have internet yet. And that's something because we the router was not yet configured and we have to do those steps. So remember that I have put the cable here to my computer and then I have also made another cable which is on this port to go to the internet. So fastnet 0 over 0 over 0 is to uh, go to the internet. Fastnet 0 over 0 over 1 is to go to the computer. And now what I need at the end is that this computer over here to be able to go to the internet. So we have to connect to JWeb. We have to do the configuration on JWeb so it allows this computer to go to the internet. So what are really the steps that we have to think of? So first one, we have to know that we need to do the configuration of the uh, DHCP server, which we have it already on this router. So the DHCP server is already connected. Why? Because anyone who wants to connect to any of those ports, then it will receive an IP from the DHCP server and then that's something we need to provide it from this router. So this is already done. We have also to do the NAT, the network address translation. What does it mean? So this over here has an IP which is different. So on this internet or on this port, it has an IP which is different than the IP which is we are receiving, which is 192.168.1. something. So this IP, 192.168, we saw that it is .1.2. This IP is a private IP and private IP are not routed to the internet. So there should be a NAT over here, configuration for the NAT, to allow for the public IP to carry the private IP to go to the internet and come back and send them what they want. So that's something also we have to see how to configure it. And of course, this router should have a route to go to the internet. So that means what? That means that this interface over here should be a DHCP client. DHCP client means that there is a DHCP server here. It will provide only this interface with the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS, which is on the internet, on the ISP router. So it will provide it to this interface so this router can go to the internet. So once this router is able to go to the internet, we we'll configure the HCP and NAT, then this also will be able to go to the internet. So this is the whole idea. Now, before we start doing the configuration, let's check if we can go to the JWeb. So I will open here the browser. So this is Firefox open. And uh, let's try to go to 192.168.1.1. And here we go. You see that JWeb is open. And uh, over here, you see that uh, we can now go to the root and the password that we have put, which is juniper123. And then log in. Don't save. So we should be now 
inside the setup wizard and here we go we are inside the router so now i will stop the video here and then we're going to now start working on how to set up this router to be able to provide for me internet so see you in the upcoming lecture